Um, about question 23, surprisingly, uh, many students good in factorization but do not able to factorize this one uh, accurately. It's because they, their mindset is if they use one method, then that method is guaranteed to solve the problem. But the fact is not. In math, sometimes we need to try and error. We need to think about something and then we find that it doesn't work. We change a little bit and then we find out the answer. So. Uh, don't just stick on one method. m squared minus 9n squared negative 6n minus 1. Uh, it's very obvious that this is square term and 9 is also square number, 3 square. So we will think that it's about the third identity. So we try to factorize by using the third identity. This is something square minus something square, which is m. What inside is 3n squared. Don't write down 9. 9 squared is 84. 1 but not 9. It should be 3 squared to give you 9. And then you write m minus 3n, m plus 3n. In the second part, maybe you can extract negative 1. So we got 6n positive 1. And then maybe you suck here. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, because we don't find a common factor. So we can't continue. If you can't continue, then it is correct. You it's not magic. You can't just simply accept it and then change it to something. Usually it is wrong. So if this kind of grouping do not help us to solve the questions, maybe we need to consider another grouping. M cannot put together with N is because there is no M here. So maybe we think about how about we rearrange all N and one together. So all this, uh, we just forget it. And then we redo it again here. M square, negative nine N square, negative six N, negative one. Uh, if you have a very strong foundation in form two about factorization, nine six one is very common number ratio. But we seldom handle negative something square, so we extract negative first. Negative, so it is 9n square, positive 6n, positive 1. And then m square here. So what inside 9 is square number, so maybe we can write in form of bracket square plus 2 bracket bracket. And then plus bracket square, we put 3n, 3n, 1 and 1 here. Uh, but don't forget, it's just our guess thing at this moment. We have to check is that consistent with this one. It's not magic, we can't change the value. 2 times 3 times 1 give us 6n. So this one is correct. We can write in this format. So if we continue, m square minus something. And then what inside is something plus something square and this bracket is duplicated we don't need it so now we successfully write down another format is something square something square minus something square so we can apply the third identity to rewrite it something plus something something minus something m m and don't forget you should the whole thing as the second uh second item don't forget the bracket otherwise your sign will be wrong plus three n plus one the first bracket is correct the second bracket is m minus three n most important minus one so you find which one is the answer uh, pay extra attention when you minus a bracket. You should write this step. You shouldn't skip this one.